Hi everyone and welcome to our population growth lab. I'm going to not have a camera on me this lab so we can see more of these graphs. Uh, I'm opening, I'm not going to do the lab for you, but I'm going to demonstrate how these work. Uh, I made this spreadsheet myself so um, we can look at uh, the normal, this is the basic population growth model. It means that, you know, rabbits make more rabbits and then the more rabbits make more rabbits according to this rate here, which is R, and we just look at this slope. And let's change this slope to like 0 0.10, and we can see what happens. It looks about the same, right? But we go to like 50. I mean, but the numbers are changing at the bottom, of course, but the shape of the slope isn't going to change a whole lot. We can go to 0 0.001. That's not much growth at all. If the growth was about 0 0.50 or 50%, it's pretty steep. And that's that's that model. That was a good carrying capacity. This model looks like this, and it says, this one reads that, you know, same model, only there's some maximum amount that you can get to, and as you, uh, and as that maximum amount gets larger, that this value gets smaller, so there's a limit that you reach, and these are how this model looks. So if we had a similar, like a 10% growth, we'd see it's come up quicker in the beginning, like this, and if, but if we lower the carrying capacity to say 80, uh, it would just flatten out quicker and if we started at like five of them it would start out lower and let's you can kind of the idea is to give you a um, an impression of what these models are doing and how they work obviously this one is still imperfect we're at very slow growth it'll kind of come up very slowly here there we go well extremely slowly you'll see here and then this will go up really quickly point two zero very fast population growth to a very low population density look like that and we can start with just like one one rabbit I guess you have to start with two you can't start with one rabbit or whatever it is and here's competition so there's two critters here now it's we also have a carrying capacity it's okay but now there's both of them competing for a resource depending on how many of them and let's say that they're both herbivores there's a, can't think of two herbivores uh, you know, rabbits and cows, let's say. Let's say that the carrying capacity of rabbits is you can carry, you can have, uh, yeah, let's say you can have a thousand rabbits and their population growth rate is very high. Um, let's say it's a uh, 0.6 and then, but their impact is huge because they eat all the grass and then that would kill off all of the cows. And if the cows have a population growth rate not nearly as fast, uh, it can only hold 30 of them and their impact is 0.1 on there, they don't make it, right? But if the cows have a carrying capacity of, well, they can't have more because they're bigger, but let's just say 500 or half of that, they reach it kind of quickly and then they sort of die off. And, but let's increase their population growth so that rat cows are doing pretty well. They still just die off faster, you see? So this model is kind of showing you what happens uh, under these different conditions. Let's say that the rabbits make much less of an impact and then, and then we can see that we just get steady state to more cows quicker. If we have a predator that actually eats one of the other animals, it becomes more complicated. And this is the model for that. And um, you can read about more of this. So there's, there's this death rate of the predator. The only way that the predators die is by, uh, you know, just natural ways. They don't they eat the prey. And I should call it this, uh, I shouldn't call them both herbivores. I should call one of these carnivore. It eats the other one, and you can you can play with the capacity. Let's say that this one's actually a carnivore; it can only hold a hundred of them. And then, oh, here's oh, sorry, this is two herbivores and a predator. I apologize; I didn't know my own model. The predator sort of doesn't get; he's not competing for grass, obviously. Um, so you can look at how this would play out a little bit here, and now you can follow the lab. But I'm just demonstrating how this thing works. You see, as herbivore one goes up, he goes down, but and then as the the predators die off because there's not enough of the other herbivore to eat. These guys do okay again. And so let's say the death rate of the predators, let's, let's say that they die off quicker and watch how much better the herbivores do. Uh, say this one does great, right? But herbivore two, who doesn't have a very high carrying capacity, uh, now, he's, now he's better off. Now they're doing great and the predators are barely making it. So that is it. That's your introduction. You can do the lab yourself now. And I uh, hope it works out for you. Take care. Bye-bye.